It's a vital tool. It's an important tool. It's maybe the most important tool that they can think of. We're going to build the wall. We have no choice. We have no choice. Build that wall. 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 This nation hasn't entered into the fullness of her destiny yet. A good president. A man after God's own heart. Never before in the history of the U.S. have ever had such a president like this. March for Life is a movement born out of love. You love your families. You love your neighbors. You love our nation. And you love every child born and unborn, because you believe that every life is sacred, that every child is a precious gift from God. We will always defend the very first right in the Declaration of Independence, and that is the right to life. And during the conference, I had a vision, and I saw how some of the past presidents of the U.S. are still praying very ardently for the salvation of the United States. Among the many presidents, maybe till that time, I think it was the 40th president, till that time, among the 40 presidents, heaven only finds four godly presidents. Four of them. Four of them really godly saints in heaven praying for the salvation of the United States. Only, I only saw one person, George Washington, kneeling down and praying with tears for the nation. And I saw his tears drop down and fall on the sand. And the Lord scooped the sand and has kept it, kept it in heaven. And the tear-filled sand speaks unto God cries unto God for the salvation of this Hello, nation. Americans. Tonight I am speaking to you because there is a growing humanitarian and security crisis at our southern border. Every day customs and border patrol agents encounter thousands of illegal immigrants trying to enter our country. We are out of space to hold them and we have no way to promptly return them back home to their country. Every week 300 of our citizens are killed by heroin alone, 90% of which floods across from our southern border. More Americans will die from drugs this year than were killed in the entire Vietnam War. Over the years, thousands of Americans have been brutally killed by those who illegally entered our country, and thousands more lives will be lost if we don't act right now. When I took the oath of office, I swore to protect our country. And that is what I will always do. So help me God. Now, after a long time, God has given this nation a respite. A respite meaning a time of...